definitions of the derivative, right? Forget about what the variables are, guys, because we can use any kind of variables you want to. But out of one, two, or three, does anybody want to give a guess on which one they feel like that's giving you the best derivative? Huh? The what? Well, I'll give you guys on this one. Again, one of, my, that, one of the things I was looking into, um, which I didn't talk to you guys about, like as, as far as I wrote this here, f prime of x equals the number, f prime of the function of c equals the number, f prime of x equals an equation. Um, basically, when you plugged in those values, you should be getting a number. Remember how this was like minus 16, right? So you were getting a number. Therefore, it was really easy to identify that was 1. The same thing, this c represents a number. So if you're looking at this definition of derivative uh, for 3, you're going to see a value in for c as far as some kind of number. When we take the derivative, there, it's going to be equal that um, that's going to, that value is going to be a number. And therefore, what we're doing is taking the derivative at a given point, which is again going to be a number. But in this case, you can see this is really the same thing as if I was to replace this with an h, it would actually be identical to my limit definition of derivative, which is number two. And if I'm going to use, if I'm saying this is the limit definition number two, I can say my function is going to be, what should be the function that I'm using in this case? F of, f of x equals what? Square root of x. Which is the same thing as x to the 1 half. Then, this is really just saying, can you find the derivative of the square root of x? Well, yes, of course I can. And that's it. That's, there's nothing else um, that they are, um, that we're, we're evaluating uh, for as far as on finding the derivative. That's exactly that we're just looking into uh, finding the derivative of that.